At the beginning of Nate and Sheila's honeymoon, they were in such a great place and it showed such promise. But now they're experiencing a lot of conflict, serious conflict, and, and it's really leaving them reeling. Now that the honeymoon's coming to an end, they will be confronted with a whole host of new issues that happen when you're starting to plan and live a life together. I'm worried that if Sheila and Nate don't reconnect before the end of this honeymoon, that they're just not going to be able to handle all these new issues that are going to be facing them. This is our last night here. Things are not going well. I'm not intensely trying to upset my wife. And I'm worried as to how it's going to be once we get back to Chicago. But I want to be married more than anything. So I'm trying to force her to come back up and be in paradise with me to enjoy her time. I uh, would like to offer you an apology for about earlier. I do apologize for that. It wasn't the best move on my behalf. I've made better before. Do you um, want to be married? I, I most definitely want to be married. I wouldn't have gotten in a situation if I didn't. I just want to be married the right way. And when I felt disrespected by, by you today, it kind of made me feel like I need to pull back. I don't know, Nathan. I am. Um... Marriage means everything to me. I think marriage is the epicenter of the family. I think marriage is the foundation that you build upon. And a life of adventure comes from marriage. And so right now, this is not the marriage that I want. I've spent most of my 20s trying to convince men that they wanted this and that. That I was worth it. And I'm at a point where, like, I will not convince my husband that I'm worth it. I get it. I have not been easy this honeymoon. I'm trying. And when you wake up and you are just fighting to feel like yourself, and that's what I find every morning. Like, I'm just fighting to just feel normal. Like, I'm trying to express those things to you. You don't care, because all you want to do is have fun. And, like, I can't even focus on fun, because I just want to, like, feel awake. And I get it. When I'm easy to love, I'm easy to love. And that's awesome. But I've never had somebody who loved me when I wasn't easy to love. It just reminds me that I've never had somebody who was there for me in that moment. Ever. And I don't know how to move forward in a positive way with you. The future of our marriage, it's not looking too good. What can I help you with? See me. You don't see me. I'm just over this. I don't want to do this with you. I don't. I don't want to eat with you. I don't want to do any of this with you. Oh,